Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we are going to discuss chapter 3 that is measures of central tendency which you are having in your business statistics 1 semester 3. And good news to you all, I have completed the whole syllabus of business statistics 1 by considering if I tell these topics also, 2nd chapter, 3rd chapter, 4th chapter and 5th chapter explanation videos are available in our channel. So please check out in our channel for the explanation videos. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the third unit which you can definitely score to well marks in part B. Okay students, in this unit, no theory questions will, they will not ask any theory questions, only problematic. So students, in unit number 3, you are having 3 methods. What is that method? Mean, Median and Mode. In unit number 3, from unit number 3, how many questions you will get? Uh, like um, 8, 9, 10, level the question is from unit number 3. Level A and level B is from unit number 3. You will have or option. You are having only 3 topics. If for example, here they are asking mean means, here they will ask median. Or else if we are asking mode means median. Out of these 3 topics, prepare any 2 topics. My suggestion is, mean is easy. Median is easy, mode is little bit difficult to understand in this less period of time. Your examinations will be hardly in 5 to 6 days. Today is 14th December. So, this is the horizontal, like a hard topic. So, my suggestion is you keep this as a choice and perfect with mean and median. In this video, I will explain mean as well as median where one definitely question they will ask for 12 marks. Definitely they will ask out of these two questions or two methods, one definitely they will ask the problematic question in part B. Okay, students, so without getting any late, just watch this video fully, then you will get clarity and you can score good marks in business studies. In mean, you are having two methods, direct method and simply what they will do, ma, they will give the data and they will uh, tell you to find the mean or else mean, atom, find mathematic mean using assumed mean, whatever it may be. Just I will tell how to calculate mean, okay? That will be useful to you all, okay? Concentrate on median. Median is super easy as well as many times it is asked in question paper in part B. So, give preference to median only, but you should learn both the concept, but give more preference to median, okay? Students, now we will discuss about the mean. So, students in previous year question paper, they have asked to calculate mean and they have given the question like this. What they have given marks? 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, up to 70 to 80 they have given. After that they have given the frequency also. Okay, how we need to calculate? At last solution chayali anante. Here frequency anedi wal ichinar gada. First to the manam same as column 15 anja peshi. Next to the 35 like in 15 minus chest anta. Where is my calculator? Okay. How we need to calculate? 35 minus 15. 20. 60 minus 35. 60 minus 35. 60 minus 35. 25. 84 minus 60. 24. And the frequency they will give like this, but we need to create like this. Okay. 96 minus 84. 12. 127 minus 96, 31, 198 minus 127, 71, 250 minus 198 is 52. This is the frequency which we have calculated. In question, whatever the frequency they are giving, like this, you need to substitute it. Okay, N means number of frequency, 52, 71, 31, like this. 52 plus 71 plus 31 plus 12 plus 24 plus 25 plus 20 plus 15. N is 250. Okay, students. So, next, what column? Simple column. Just one column or two columns only you need to add it. Okay, this is the F column. Next, midpoints. That is, we can call it as M. What is the midpoint of 0 to 10? 
5 is the midpoint 10 to 20 15 is the midpoint 20 to 30 25 here 35 45 55 65 and 75 and after that the last column is fm f into m 15 into 5 f into m means 15 into 5 75 20 into 15 300 25 into 25 625 24 into 35 840 12 into 45 540 right 31 into 55 1705 71 into 65 4615 52 into 75 3900 total we need to do that is f column fm 3900 plus 4615 4615 plus 1705 plus 540 plus 840 plus 625 plus 375 what is the total of fm 12600 okay students like this you need to calculate they will give marks ma they will give frequency also how we need to calculate frequency 15 is the same 35 minus 15 20 60 minus 35 25 84 minus 60 24 like this you need to do after doing that midpoints after midpoints f into m f into m 15 into 5 20 into 70 uh, 20 into 15 25 into 25 24 into 35 like this total okay just we need to substitute it in a formula what is the formula of arithmetic mean x bar is equal to sigma fm by n fm total is 12600 divided by number of frequencies 250 12600 divided by 250 is 50.4 is the arithmetic mean x bar is equal to 50.4 this is a simple method and uh, whether they were giving arithmetic means calculate arithmetic mean from the following data means use this method only okay so next question what they will ask calculate arithmetic mean using direct method and standard deviation method like this they will ask using direct method how we need to calculate using direct method now we will discuss students okay in this video whole mean concept as well as median concept i will explain so that please follow that okay so if in question 0 to 100 100 to 200 till 500 to 600 right 200 300 400 500 and 600 to 700 500 to 600 400 to 500 300 to 400 200 to 300 and f column they have given 14 20 42 24 500 to 600 only okay 24 20 and 10 simply what we need to do n means number of frequency like this we need to total it ma like this they have given in question the, what they have said calculate arithmetic mean using direct method they have given 14 plus 20 plus 42 plus 24 plus 20 plus 10 what is the n value 130 next we need to calculate midpoints 0 to 100 what is the midpoint here we need to calculate this as an x 50 150 250, 350, 450 and 550. Next, F into X column. F into X. 14 into 50, 700. 20 into 150, 3000. 42 into 250, 10500. 24 into 350. 8400 20 into 
500 students just you need to add it fx total you need to add it what is the formula of x bar main formula sigma fx by n n is equal to 130 what is the f total 5500 plus 9000 plus 8400 plus 10500 plus 3000 plus 700 37100 37100 divided by 130 means 285.3 is the mean answer. This simple is this. Okay. Arithmetic mean if they are giving in long means like this you need to do using direct method. Okay. If they are asking arithmetic mean calculate arithmetic mean using direct method means like this you need to do. Marks column, frequency, midpoints and fx. Okay, this is about the arithmetic mean students. Now we will discuss about the median, which is most important and uh, easy, easy thing. Easy, very much easy, just easy thing. Ma. So, median, what is the formula of median? L plus n by 2 minus PCF by F into i sometimes they will ask find median plus the quartiles including quartiles also they have given and i hope that you have watched the bowley's skewness in that whatever the median we are finding same that only you are finding in bowley's also so if you want the quartiles explanation you please watch bowley's coefficient of skewness video there you will get sometimes in longer from unit number three what they will ask calculate median and locate um, quartiles also calculate median and quartiles from the following data like that also they can ask so quartiles and median explanation i have already explained in bowley's skewness just here i will explain about the median students okay so here i'm having one small question just look into that question easily i can get to know okay this is the formula students okay question they have given like uh 110 to 120 Okay, like this they have given F is equal to 6, 25, 48, 72, 166, 116 and 60. Okay, like this question they have given, just we need to calculate CF. CF means cumulative frequency. How we need to calculate cumulative frequency? First number is 6. Same 6 we need to add it here. 6 plus 25 is equal to 31. 31 plus 48. 7. After that, we need to calculate it into a formula. N by 2. N means total of frequency. What is the total of frequency? 6 plus 25 plus 48 plus 72 plus 116 plus 60. 327 is the frequency. Now, N is equal to 372. 2, sorry, 327. Okay. So, N divided by 2. N divided by 2 means 327 divided by 2 means 163.5 students in cumulative frequency where 165 163.5 is located here okay here 151 is below than 163 okay so in here you are having 163 so just we need to substitute l we want l we want pcf we want cf and we want i also what is the l here in this line, whatever this value is, this is going to be a L. Here it is translated it as a, uh, how much we have got actually? 327 divided by 2. 
163.5 students. Here it is lies on. According to formula, L plus. L is 150 plus N by 2, 163.5 minus PCF. This is considered as a PCF. This is considered as an F. So, 151 divided by 116 into I. I is the differences between these two. 10. Okay. So, 163.5 minus 151. What is the answer? 150 plus 12.5 divided by 116 into 10. Just we need to substitute it. 12.5 divided by 116 into 10 is equal to 1.077. Okay. 150 plus 1.077 means 1.077. 151.077 is the answer of median. That's it, 12 marks. Okay, so in this chapter, only practice mean and median, which I have explained in video. So this one question will definitely ask in long. So in median, they have already have done a video on um, median and quartiles, which I have already explained in a uh, Bowley's skewness. So try to check out that video for the better explanation. Okay. So in this video, I am winding up third chapter that is measures of central tendency. Board is little bit difficult, ma. You will not understand because board is also not sufficient to explain. So that's why I'm uh, making that is a choice. So try to practice median and mean thoroughly. Okay. So by this video, I have completed in business statistics chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 and chapter 5 chapter 1 is theory i have given important questions in important questions video which will come in chapter number 1 so try to practice that okay so by this video i am winding up business statistics one subject hope you got uh, like this video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups because this video will be useful for them also and do comment me in the comment section how you felt about my explanation also okay so students, see you all next video. Bye-bye. All the very best for your examination and all the very best for your preparation. Once again, all the very best and thank you so much.